I've met uh, Richard in Baja, California, where he has a little house up on a on a cliffside, and uh, I was down on the beach flying some large kites, and uh, he came down because he was interested and helped me fly him. So I spent the afternoon with Dick, uh, and we talked about art and a little bit about physics, and became friends and saw more of each other. I think he was interested in in views of life that were uh, different than his own, as long as they were uh, informative to him. Dick acted as a consultant for a company in Switzerland, which took him to Switzerland every summer. I had business in Europe, and he said, would you like to go over to CERN, which is the uh, European uh, particle accelerator, uh, where so much particle physics is done, and where Dick uh, used, to, used to work a number of years before. We went down into this sort of 007 James Bond cave underneath the ground with all this wonderful high technology equipment. One of them was a giant machine that was going to be rolled into the line of these particle accelerators. It was a machine maybe the size of a two-story building with lights and bulbs and dials and men climbing all over it. Feynman said, what experiment is this? And the director said, why, this is um, an experiment to uh, test uh, the, uh, the charge change in particles under such and such circumstances. And then he stopped and he said, oh, I forgot, this is your theory of, of charge change, uh, Dr. Feynman. This is, a, this is an experiment um, to demonstrate, if we can, uh, your theory of 15 years ago called such and such. And uh, he was a little embarrassed at having forgotten that. Feynman looked at this big machine and he said, uh, how much does this cost? And the man said, uh, $37 million or whatever it was. And Feynman said, oh, you don't trust me? 